let's talk about two genetic stents that are really critical for the whole methylation cycle, MTR and MTRR. If either one of those are homozygous, those will not allow homocysteine to be converted into methionine or for you to recycle methylcobalamin to break down the homocysteine into methionine. They stop everything. So you're going to build up a lot of homocysteine when your MTR, which creates a methionine synthase enzyme, can't convert homocysteine to methionine. You'll have a low methionine level on your CMA. And if we keep checking, it'll always be low. That means your homocysteine is going to be high, your methionine is going to be low, and your glutathione is going to be lower. So you cannot fight the inflammation that homocysteine causes. MTRR, the same. You're going to always be low in methylcobalamin. You can't regenerate it properly. So again, the homocysteine is going to be high. The, the methylcobalamin is going to be low. You're going to show a low B12 on that intracellular testing that we do. You're going to also have a low glutathione level probably. You have a lot of other ways you can make glutathione, but not as big as that way. Converting homocysteine to glutathione is the transulfuration pathway. It's the most critical out there for your detox. So if you feel toxic, if you check your intracellular levels and have a low cobalamin B12 or a low methionine, you get a problem with your methylation cycle. So you need to add glutathione to take care of that. It offsets the monocyte release yes. of cytokines, how homocysteine causes. It's the only way to do it. So you got to have BARS, B-A-R-S, validatable absorber reduced stable type of antioxidant, mainly glutathione in this situation for it to work. Do not hurt your life. Do not hurt yourself by keeping a high homocysteine level, not treating it properly.